So what's up loves, this your girl Latrice Chantel and I'm back with another video and as you can tell by the title of this video, this will be in regards to a review, my honest review on this blind buy of Zara's Ebony Wood perfume. So just to keep this sweet and simple, if you do care to watch, make sure you stay tuned, make sure you subscribe to your girl's channel so I can get my followers up so I can give you all some better content you know i'ma still give y'all content regardless but i'm just saying you know you gotta throw that in there but um also make sure you comment down below interact with your girl give your girl a thumbs up and let me know how you like this um honest review yeah i want y'all to see i should should i put the camera on my dog right quick pause this what she doing right quick but see look i got you on camera so they can see how you acting a fool over there. They got you. I got you on camera. Y'all missed what she was doing while ago. That dog. That dog is crazy. And y'all don't come for me about my dog. It's time for her to get her bath and her hair cut. Because she looking right porky pine right now. She looking like a porky pine. We're going to say porky pine-ish. But y'all. My baby's still cute. And that's on period. And yes, it's a girl, and yes, she is feisty and bad. I wanted y'all to see how she was um, eating her food while ago. Boosie, you looking rough right now. My so, baby. yeah. Y'all, let me get into... Let me get into um, this video right quick. So I'm back. I'm falling. <laughs> um. So I don't open up the box. Just I don't smell this already. I'm gonna go ahead and be honest. I don't already smell this, so it's not like an unboxing or you know. I already know what I'm about to tell you guys. And I'm gonna be straight up with you. Cause if you wanna be straight up, then well. You just fake, period, and I can't be none of that. So, I got to be honest. So, I saw, what did I first see Ebony Wood from? So, I first saw Ebony Wood from a YouTuber here on YouTube that I follow, and I not too long subscribed to. Her name is Kyra Amonique. I'm unique. I may be pronouncing her last part of her YouTube name wrong, and I apologize, Kyra, if you ever run into this video. Um... I like you a lot. I watch your videos, so you know it's no pun intended. Um, is that how they say no pun intended? But anyway, I got I got a suggestion for her. You know, I follow her videos, you know. Um she seems like, you know, she know what she talk about when it comes down to perfumes. So I said, you know, let me try Ebony Wood. Let me just try this. And let me see, let me step out my comfort zone and try this different perfume because if you know me you all might not know me yet i like sweet smelling perfumes okay i like mark jacobs sweet perfumes i like mark jacobs perfect i like mark jacobs daisy love i like um victor and ralph bond bond i like um gucci perfumes some of them not all of them um, what else do I got? I I even like Prada Candy. That's sweet, but not real sweet. I mean, I like sweet smelling perfume. I like Ariana Grande. I might have said it already. My mind be so short, y'all. I can't even remember what I be saying or whatever. But um, so she said when she when she did uh, talk about the perfume, she was like. Um, it was more of a sophisticated type of perfume and I said okay and I like the way the perfume bottles look I just like the whole vibe of Ebony Woods basically by what I saw on YouTube I also saw one of my other YouTubes who I watch a lot who I like a lot her name is Gina Janine up here and she also wears um 
I'm looking at my nails, making sure I just got my nails painted and it look like they peeling already. Oh, I'm not going back to the nail shop no matter the one I went to. But anyway, Gina Janine Janine, she um said she liked the Ebony Woods and I think she paired it with what did she pair it with? I just looked at one of her videos today. And I was watching the end of it. She paired Ebony Woods and she was talking about it's mighty funny because I was like, let me go ahead and do my review on Ebony Woods. But she was talking about she wear Ebony Woods and she paired with Prada film. And she said Prada film more of a sweet smelling perfume. But she paired um, Ebony Woods because it's like a little sophisticated. Like, you know, for an older woman or whatever. It's more, it's giving those type of vibes. And then I also seen people on IG talking about it or in people on TikTok. Y'all, let me just say, my honest review right now, drum roll please. I don't like it. And I went out and brought the 40 ml. I bought the smaller, um, my camera is not going, oh my God, it's not going to zone in so y'all can see. Ooh. There you go. I thought it was gonna focus. So I brought um the 40 ml, the smallest perfume, and then I turned around and brought the 200 ml body lotion. <sighs> Come on now, Canon camera. Zone in for me, baby. And then I turned around and I bought a candle and let me just say right now, y'all, these last couple of months, your girl just got a new found obsession, obsession with candles. Like, I love candles. I love wanting to be sitting in my uh, apartment. I love to smell them. I just love candles. Anytime I go in the store and a candle is in the store now, I'm going to sniff and I may just buy. So, that's a whole other thing. Because it used to be just perfumes. Now it's candles. I love candles. So, then I also bought... This is like a small, like very small candle. I thought it was a little bigger than this, but I guess it pays to read. So, yeah. So, I went out and bought the perfume, body lotion, and the candle. A buy and buy for real. Especially when you ain't know how stuff was going to smell. And the bad thing about it is I don't like it. But, I had already sprayed it before I even got up here. I sprayed it, guys. And I still smell it on my arm and you on my wrist. And you know how they be like, okay, just spray it for a little bit and let it take its time, you know, settling into your skin. Nope. I sprayed it. It still smelled the same way as it did when I sprayed it a couple of minutes ago. Like, it's the same smell. It don't, you know, settle into my skin and turn something different. It's the same smelling perfume. <laughs> and... The packaging, I will give Zara this. The packaging is bomb. I wanted to, uh, like a, I'm a, um, if this zone in, God, you see y'all, okay. The packaging is, I need to stand up. Maybe if I put stand up with it, if y'all can see. So the packaging is, um, sleek and cute. I love perfume bottles that look simple and cute. The, it's the aesthetics for me. I'm a black and white type of aesthetic type of person. Sleek and minimal. And that's what I like. So. God, what in the world? Couldn't even get the towel. So that's it in a nutshell. This is a small one. But y'all it's giving off. And if I just be honest. It's giving off. Um, pine cone. Pine tree. Rainforest. Christmas trees. It's giving off that type of smell. Woods. Somebody burning some wood mixed with some trees. That's the smell it gives to me. Something like cedar, clove, pepper. Just, it's just not giving what it's supposed to give. It remind me of an older woman. And I'm not trying to sit up here and joke and be funny. But it just remind me of an older woman who's ushering on Sunday, doing Sunday service. With the little white top, white skirt, the um, stockings, and the um, white shoes. You know, just like an usher on Sunday. Like back in the old days at the older church. That's what these perfumes smell or something like my 80 something year old grandma was, you know, throwing. Because that's what older women wear. It's giving not...
classy to me. Now, the way this is, the aesthetics is of this packaging, yes, it's giving classy. You that, you know, it's giving all of that. But the smell, it does not match it to me. And that's just me. To other people, it may work with their body chemistry. It don't work with my body chemistry because I don't even like it. I don't like the way it smells. So it's it's a hard no for me. Or easy no, however you say it. It's just a no. And then here is the, if it um, focus y'all, this, there you go. Cannon didn't want to focus while I go for me, babe, because it's the light and stuff. So this is the bottle, this is the lotion bottle and it's ebony wood. I'm talking about ebony wood. It's, um, what does it say? It's 200 ml, that's what I mean. I'm talking about ebony wood. This lotion and this perfume, they nailed it. It smells exactly the same. And the reason why I bought the body lotion, again, it's another YouTuber by the name of Olive Destiny. Shout out to Olive Destiny. Um, she um, just she was just talking not too long ago on her one of her channels. Her signature scent is Tiffany and Co. Um, love is it love by her? Her love something with Tiffany Co. And love and her in it. And she was like, that's her favorite signature scent, her new scent. And then she pairs it with I think she got a body lotion to kind of match. So. That's what she's doing. And I'm like, okay, that's a good idea to get the body lotion that matches the perfume. Because I just use regular lotion, you know, maybe unscented for dry skin or something like that. And then I just pair it with my perfume to make my perfumes last longer. But I didn't think about getting the, the same body lotion if it comes, you know, with the perfume or something like that. If they got the same body lotion, per, you know, with the perfume. I couldn't get my words out. Y'all know what I'm trying to say. Um, that's a good idea, but this combination, it's not a good combination, period. <laughs> Y'all, it's just not, like, I guess if you want to smell older, smell sophisticated, I guess, but, I don't care, I don't give a darn how much money I got, like, if I had a lot of money in this world, if I was a rich, because right now, my bank account ain't on rich, but if I was... This still wouldn't be a scent I would grab. Like, even if date night. That's just not a scent I would grab. Going out to a hundred, hundred plus meal. Like, the most expensive meal ever. I still would not grab it. It's just a no for me. <clears throat> and then I turned around and got this. This little candle. Like, Zara, I'm just aiming at itself. If it focus, y'all. It's a small camera. Like, it's so small. It's like about the size of my hand. Zara, I mean, they said I just knew it. I guess it pays to read. I just knew that this would be um bigger, but I guess to say that because I don't like the scent, I guess it's a good thing that it's small as it is. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, that's that, and pretty much these all done together. It's probably this is gonna be a short little video because it ain't like I can go on and on and talk about how much I really love this stuff because I really maybe I can do a thumbnail. My fingers so short and chunky, y'all. But yeah, it ain't nothing that I really can say. And I pulled up like the the notes of this perfume, just like I said, the scent reveals notes of pink pepper, club, and ebony wood. And it is. It is. It's nothing about this perfume that smells hairier and spray me. Nothing. It just stank. It don't smell good. Like, I mean, it's probably not the worst perfume, if I'm going to be real, that I have ever smelled. But it's not, it's not something that I would recommend. And I'm going to just be honest. And if, and if you're a person that likes sweet smelling perfume, I guess... What got me is, I know I like sweet smelling perfume, but I just wanted to try something else. They never said that it was a sweet smelling perfume. They were honest and said it's sophisticated. Now I know what sophisticated means. I won't be, do more, no more blind buys. If, I can, if I'm able to go in the store, if people are raving about a perfume from now on, and if I'm able to go in the store, then that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go in the store and um, try them out for now on. So yeah, that's that. But... Before I do go, you all, 
I did. Like I said, I was watching all of Destiny and she raved about um her um Tiffany Co perfume. So I was in Charlotte, was it two weekends ago? I went to go see Martin Lawrence's um comedy show um lit as tour. Lit as fuck. I might as well say it tour. Um it was pretty good. That's a whole other story. And I went to the Charlotte Mall, so I stopped by Tiffany and Co. And I went to go smell that perfumes. I'm like, you know, again, she's raving about it. And I'm like, I want to try it because I love perfume. So that's one thing. If you know me, I'm gonna buy me some perfume. So I went in the store, and then they had, they said they just released um one not too long ago called Rose Go. And then the man was nice enough to go ahead and give us if it focused. To go ahead and give us uh, some samples, me and my homegirl. So, and y'all, I think this is gonna be my next purchase. I was gonna get the one, the other one smelled good to the one Destiny like, but I was gonna get um that one. But then I'm gonna get this one. I'm gonna get this one because it smells good. Now, this is more of my, and I feel like Tiffany Co. is an older um, brand. And this is also for a sophisticated woman, but this one smells good. Now, this smells good. I can spray this on if I want to be a sophisticated lady, a woman in the night, and then this is what I would go grab. I grab my little expensive purse, some heels on, dress it up. If I'm going to, you know, expensive restaurant, then I would spray on Tiffany and Co. But Ebony Woods, no. Period. Now, like I said, the packaging is bomb. It's sleek, minimal, and it the aesthetic and to me it's aesthetically pleasing just looking at it. But as far as um the smell it's enough and it's just what it is and that's on what period so yeah i'll probably um i'll probably do a giveaway in my readers group um for people who do purchase my new release because i do have a book coming out this month entitled selfish love so i'll probably do this as a giveaway i'll probably be giving away because i don't know if they accept returns at zara or whatever and I don't even want to go through all that for the little amount that I spent. I, I'm so glad I didn't spend a lot. But it's still money. Hard earned money that I did spend. So. That's that. So yeah you guys. I'm putting everything good now. So. That's that. I just wanted to give my honest opinion on Zara's. Um, Ebony Wood. And I ain't, I don't know how the other person will smell. I don't have a Zara close to me. I'm in North Carolina, so I would have to go outside of North Carolina to visit a Zara to like smell the perfumes in store or something. And just by the way this smell, I don't know if I would just buy another different type of perfume from Zara as a blind buy. Because this right here said a lot to me. It's just not giving what it's supposed to give. But yeah. So that's my review of Ebony Wood. I hope you, you know... Before you consider just to buy it, just off a blind buy. I mean, you can do what you want. But if you're not into wood smelling perfumes, then I wouldn't recommend Ebony Wood. But again, feel free to do what you please, loves. So until next time, you guys, thank you so much for taking the time to watch my honest review of Ebony Wood's perfume. And I'll see you guys later in my next